So in this video, I'm going to show you how to update a few SaaS programs so they can be used in SaaS on demand. Okay. So remember, in last tutorial, the only update uh, for the SaaS program is change the home folder directory from folders slash my folders to home slash c dot x. Of course, this part of the information needs to be changed to uh, your related uh, account information. Okay. So let's look at the first SAS program, which is this one column input. So we can see this file. We have this um, uh, in file statement. And then in the quotation marks, we can see we have this folders, my folders here. So we need to change this one to the home uh, slash c dot x for my case. Okay. So before I change it, um, I just want to run this in SAS on demand. Uh, to show you uh, what will be resulted if we don't change uh, the home folder path, okay? So now you can see when we run this, um, it will give us error says physical file does not exist. Um, that means um, this file path does not work because we didn't change this home folder uh, directory in SAS on demand yet, okay? And then go back to the code and then just change this um, to this home slash uh, c dot share and x and now if we want to run this uh, from the log then you can see uh, we don't get any error messages as before okay so um, for this change, I want to save uh, this code, this SAS program, into a new SAS program. So what I do is uh, I click on Save As. And because this SAS code is from my SAS base certification course, so I want to save it under this SAS base codes. So I just put a prefix as um, SOD stand for SAS on demand. So I will know this code uh, is or is updated for be used in SAS on demand, okay? And then let's look at another one. So for this one, uh, again, uh, within the double quotation marks, we can see this folders slash my folders. So again, we need to change this part to the home directory in SAS on demand. So it's home slash C dot share an X. And then uh, we want to save it as a new SAS file. Again, under SAS base code. Again, I want to tap in uh, SAS O D underscore. Okay. So this way, um, this SAS program has been updated uh, to be used in SAS on demand. Okay. Again, if we double check it and just run it and to see uh, if there's any error message. Um, so from the log window, we can see there's no error message showing here, okay? Then let's look at the next one. Um, so this one, uh, we can see in the lab name statement, in the double quotation mark, we found this folders, my folders. Uh, again, we want to update it with this home slash dot, uh, uh, home slash c dot share next, okay? And also, if we look uh, to the program at the bottom, we see there's another lab name. So we want to change it to home slash c dot share next as well, okay? And then we want to save this uh, new program as a uh, new file. So we just... Uh, a prefix SOD as before, and then to create a new SAS file, okay? So for this new SAS file, if we want, if we want to check it by running the code, we can see we don't get error messages, okay? And then let's look at another example another SAS program. So this one we see in PROC import procedure in the quotation marks with this is folders, my folders directory again. So we want to update it with this 
home slash z dot sharon x okay and also for the uh, lab name statement here we see this in double quotation mark folders my folders directory so we want to change it to this okay and as i mentioned in previous tutorial so this one um, has a subfolder as formats since in the last tutorial we already create a format folder so so we don't need to uh, create the subfolder in this tutorial okay so that finished the update for this SAS program and then we save it um, under SAS base code and also we give it prefix as SOD okay and then save it so to double check it we just run the entire code uh, click on this and then uh, we don't get error message okay so um, this is how you update the SAS programs uh, in my courses every time you see folders my folders you change it to this uh, home directory in SAS on demand okay uh, and one thing I want to mention is um, after we create all these new SAS programs so because uh, SAS on demand for academic is a cloud-based uh, SAS studio so all this um, SAS new program will stay uh, on the cloud home drive so if you want a copy on your local computer drive then you can click on uh, the file you want to download for example we want to download this one and then click on the download uh, icon and then you will find uh, this SAS program on your local download folder okay here